How's it going guys? Kind of want to make a video <clears throat> over some things that I offer. So I do customizing, knife customizing. Um, you could find me on Instagram, ar.knifemods. I just kind of want to go over a couple things. Uh, what I do and then what I'm working on just at the moment. So let me start with what I'm working on. So here is a um, ZT0456 blade. Um, this was just finished um, in the acid. It still has to get uh, stone wash to get the finish. And you notice the hole right here at the top. So um, I got it drilled. I got a precise fitting thumb stud on here. So I've done a couple of these. It really works well on this knife, putting a thumb stud on it. Yes, one of the things I offer. I also put a thumb stud on my... Uh, uh, 0920. Everything's got fingerprints on it because I handled it, but this is a uh, a blast finish I offer with kind of a green anodizing and kind of a multi-stage uh, acid to get like a tiger tiger stripe, but an acid. A couple other things I've done on um, a full polished. Leong Mall Warrior 2. So everything's been polished. The screws, uh, pivot collars. Let me give it a little quick wipe down. A really nice uh, teal color. It's kind of hard to video because it's so shiny. Other things, uh, projects I just recently finished was a Benchmade Anthem. So I did a, what I call a mirror blast on the entire frame and clip. It did have like a purple stone wash on it. Uh, I heat colored all the hardware to a bronze. Try to do this with the glove on. I did nothing to the blade besides the, uh, I colored the, the thumb stud, that bronze color. Something else I've also done or I offer is an orange peel finish. This is a, a heavy orange pill, and this is on a, a Chavez 229. So we got the orange pill texture on the back spacer and clip. Like you've probably seen, I don't know, I got another video going over this knife. Sweet knife, really like this knife. And a, a, a new finish I just kind of finalized. I'm calling it Nox, N-O-X. So on this particular blade, I have the uh, acid wash, acid stone wash, and I did like a, a fake hamon line with a nice edge on it. Uh, the frame was blasted and I did the new finish on it. So both sides are blasted with the new finish. Uh, even on the clip has a finish. On the backspacer, I went with polish polished it and did that same finish i think this finish on most knives i'll see if you keep like a silver or any other colors i think this would pop a lot kind of looks like a tamascus finish on a on your knife really like this because i've just been working on this for the past couple days and it came out pretty good um what else can i go over um i do uh, knife repairs let me see, I think I got a knife right here. Yes. So it was on my turret. Um, we've all dropped knives before. So I dropped it and I made a huge ding right on the corner. So I was able to reshape it. I don't know if you could tell, see how much more material there is on this side. You probably don't notice until I point it out. If you just look at it, it's got the same lines. So it was all reshaped. Uh, re-blasted the entire frame. It looks good as new unless I'll, I'll point it out to you. But you can tell it's a little thinner. But it's some other things I offer. I don't think I did anything to this. Other things I do is anodizing, stone washing. Let me get some stuff here. Ooh, a bunch of knives. Here's all my 0562s. So this one was uh, my mirror blast finish 
and done in a blurple finish. Yeah, I got some a little bit of wear because I, I this is my my EDC knife, so I carry this pretty much every day. So I did the mirror wash, a nice blurple anodizing on it. This is my go-to, my go-to knife, uh, EDC for sure. Um, here I have a a stone wash finish, like it's real dirty right now. Probably should have cleaned everything. A nice stone wash finish done in a blue. This knife's been heavily modified. It's got hand sand finish, um, finger choil added, and it's got a liner delete carbon fiber scale. So this is just, was well, kind of one I kind of did a bunch of stuff to just to try. Everything's polished, the backspacers, the screws, uh, satin clip. So I kind of did all out on this knife, pretty much everything to it. Um, I also offer, this is called a battle worn finish. So this gets a heavy blast and it's stone washed just for a little bit to add a little bit of shiny texture to it. Just to look a little worn pattern. So you got the bronze clip done, the uh, frame done, uh, the screws I did in orange peel. So you got a cool texture on the screws, kind of like a, a rock pattern. Uh, the pivot I left as is for now. And this is the uh, ZT0562 tie. So 0562, I love my 0562s. But uh, yeah, that's about all I have out really to show. I just want to go over, I guess, oh yeah, one thing I did want to go over. Um, acid washing. I know a lot of people like to try this because it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you just got to buy the... Uh, the ferric chloride acid, uh, do some, some, uh, not taping off, using paint to tape off and then, uh, throwing it in. So a couple key things I see some people miss. Um, of course you want to get where your bearings sit, your pivot goes through, uh, your detent tract and also your lockup. A key thing I see a lot of people miss is where your stop pins hit. So you, when you open and close, when it's open, your stop pin hits in here. And when it's closed, your stop pin hits in here. These are pretty critical areas, you know, considering with lockup and uh, closing, how you know, uh, where your blade sits when it closes. If you do not cover these areas, it's going to affect where your detent sits. So when your blades close, it might have some up and down play. And then when it opens, uh, your lock is lockup's going to be further in because it's eating away at the material. So if you do want to do this, play with it. Uh, be sure you do do these critical areas and then just have fun. So uh, acid washing, um, there's tons of videos on YouTube. I'll kind of give my take. Uh, most important thing is cleaning your blade. Now you notice um, to get a finish this even, it's pretty difficult. Your blade has to be perfectly clean and everything. Even then, you could have, you know, a little bit of variation. But here you got a pretty even gray finish. So um, to clean it, I'd use an ultrasonic cleaner um, that takes off all the particles inside, the little small parts that maybe scrubbing won't get to everything inside the your jimping. So it, you get it super clean. Once it's out of there, dry it, rinse it, and then use acetone. So I got a tub of acetone. I put it in the acetone tub. I put that tub into the ultrasonic cleaner. And so you it's ultrasonic cleaned in acetone. So that's going to clean every crevice. So it's going to get super clean. Um, once, it, once you're done with that and you take it out, do not touch it with your bare fingers. Um, I'll use gloves. And then I'll wrap the blade in a, in a microfiber. I got a, you know... I got like a hundred of these yellow microfibers. Wrap it in that and then have it sit on something just to dry a little bit. I'll give it a wipe down acetone, make sure it's all dry. I sit on something, let it dry for a little bit and then I go through with uh, my masking off, painting off. So with, uh, what do I use? Whatever you can find cheap. This is what I use. I got it on Amazon for like three, four dollars. It's a little thick. When you get it, you don't want it that thick because it's hard to spread. So I put a little bit of, um, I put acetone in here. You can use paint thinner or whatever. And that makes it a little more liquidy about where you need it. And so I use the brush for your big areas. So I use the brush. 
uh, to do the bearing, the bearings, um, your lockup, and this. But for for this, it's kind of hard to do with the brush even. So what I use is where did I put it at? I lost it, but it, it's a it's a skewer. But imagine this is pointed. You could probably use a toothpick too. You dip that in your uh, your nail polish and just follow the line that's already on your blade because when your pivot ball moves up and down, it leaves a, a little uh, mark. So follow that, make sure you 100% cover and make sure you get the entire detent hole because um, your detent ball just barely touches the face of this hole uh, on the top side. So if you don't put this, it's gonna affect how your close up, close up is. If it wears, you're gonna probably get a little bit of blade wiggle when it's closed if you get that worn out um actual process i use a mixture of uh, ferric chloride and uh apple cider vinegar so you could play maybe you don't need maybe you do need it um but it kind of works i get a nice even finish so i'm, I'm kind of sticking with where i'm at i'm about a, a 75 ferric chloride 25 percent um apple cider vinegar give it a good mix um, when you put your parts in, it's all cleaned. You've done your masking off of. Let your paint dry. I would say for the minimum, I like to go over about four hours. So typically I'll do it. I'll mask it off. I'll let it sit. And the next day I'll do the acid wash. You don't want to go in there where it's still, you know, soft and tacky because it will wear away. Um, you notice here, nothing to wear away. Everything is where I put it. Um, that's because I let it dry really well. So um, I hang everything. I got titanium wire for anodizing and everything. So everything's hang hang on this titanium wire. It won't corrode in the ferric chloride. I dip it in there, fully immersed, a couple shakes, wiggle it around, and let it sit in there for, uh, depending on the steel, you could go five to about 10 minutes. And 10 minutes is really all you need initially. So after 10 minutes, take it out, and you'll look at it, it'll still be shiny. You're like, hey, it didn't do nothing. Uh, don't be fooled by that. You have to, um, it eats underneath the layer. So it'll look shiny, but take it to a sink. Make sure you're wearing your gloves. Um, I use a paper towel, um, cold water, and I put dishwashing soap in the paper towel and rub it off. You'll see all your shiny outlet, outer layer come off. It'll expose the true color. Um, so don't be fooled by 10 minutes, pull it out. Oh, it still looks shiny. Put it back in the fluid. Uh, don't be fooled by that. Make sure you take it out, wash it, uh, wipe it down really good with the rag, cold wa running water, and uh, some soap mixed with it. You'll get the true color coming out. So uh, after the first 5-10 minutes, take it out, clean it really well. Um, clean all the grooves. You shouldn't, see it. you shouldn't see any shiny parts off. You should have it all wiped off. Get all the grooves with the rag. In the jimping, you want to clean everything really good. And once you do, rinse it really good. I go back in the acid for another five minutes. So this is just to make sure I got you know everything really even and have a pretty nice consistent color. So uh, after the five minutes, take it out. Same thing. Get your paper towel with the water and your dish soap. Wipe it down really good. All your grooves, everything. Rinse it. And this is it after that. Um, to remove the uh, paint, I put my tub of acetone in the sonic cleaner. So I literally just dip it in a couple times and it, it, it takes it off. But you want to make sure that you have no residuals. Because now it's really porous, your surface. So uh, you want to make sure it's super duper clean. Do, a, do it at one time in a tub. I got multiple tubs of acetone to make sure it, it's super clean. <clears throat> so once you have all the paint removed, um, stone wash it how you want. I use a, uh, I use a vibratory bowl with a, a medium aggressive large uh, one inch triangle. It gives me a finish I like, which is uh, similar to this. Similar to this. Uh, now, uh, I don't know if I want to go into that or not. You notice this is more like spots. And I don't have one out. You can have one or more. It's more like marks. That depends how much fluid you have in your tumbler. 
Uh, the less fluid you have, the more random lines you will have. The more water you have in it, the more uh, uh, consistent. It'll be just a bunch of small dots, a little more consistent. That's probably some for another video. But yeah, guys, so uh, just a little overview on the uh, acid washing and a couple of the mods I offer. So if you want to give me a follow on ar.knifemods on Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching.